I think today might be the final content drop of season two. I'm not sure if there's anything else coming. If we take a look at the coming soon portion under the calendar, we can see season three. I, I was about to say October, August 29th. Roster update on that day. A new card series coming in Team Affinity. We're starting at 95 overalls. New rank, new BR, new event, two new collections. We might talk a little bit about that more towards the end of this video, but... Let's go ahead and just go over what I think might be the final content drop of Season 2. Now, there's not a ton to go over today, which I don't know, man. I'm kind of torn. I don't know if I would have liked them to drop more today. I feel like the more the merrier, but with only a week left in the season, you know, we'd be grinding for cards. And then we, you know, it, it's Season 3. It's not even Season 2 anymore. You'd have to use them in a wild card slot, for example, for, for ranked seasons. So, I don't know how I feel about today's content drop being small, but it's a little bit smaller today. Starting with 98s here, we have the Season 2 Awards Drop 11. First reward, a standard pack. The tops now started some 98s. We got Andres Chaparro, righty, righty, third base secondary, 109 contact versus righties, 115 contact versus lefties, 93 power versus righties, but then 100 versus lefties, better against left-handed pitching. 83 vision, 112 clutch, 73 fielding, 72 reaction at first, 58 speed for Andres right here at 15 points you get a show pack at 20 points you get Will Wagner a 98 tops now second baseman for the Blue Jays also plays first third and shortstop 114 contact form versus righties 121 versus lefties 83 power versus righties 71 versus lefties 104 vision 115 clutch 85 fielding 85 speed as well 82 arm strength with 81 81 accuracy 82 reaction form at second base again first third short secondaries that's at 20 points 25 points you get a standard pack and did last week but i gotta see something after we check the tops now in this season two awards but we got zebby matthews i'm not sure if i've ever seen anyone named zebby before but he's a starting pitcher tops now for the twins four seam cutter slider circle change and a 12 6 curve the velo on his pitches up in the top right the control up in the top right for each of his pitches and then the break for each of his pitches. Good on the cutter and the slider for the break. 90 hits per nine, 102 pitching clutch, 81 control. I would say a mid card. You know, it's a 98. Uh, the 120 walks per nine, that's his highest attribute. But everything else just kind of eh. You know, I don't see anyone really using these for maybe a theme team or collections, anything like that. It's the end of the season. But Grant McGravy, center fielder for the Giants, also plays left and right field. 105 contact for him versus righties. 108 versus lefties. 100 power versus righties, but only 77 versus lefties. 81 vision, 103 clutch, 81 fielding, 85 reaction, 74 arm strength with 73 accuracy. 98 speed, though, for the 98 overall center fielder. And then at 45 points, we get a Season 2 Awards Pack, which I think there's a free one of these in the shop as well. We'll check on that in a second. And then 15,000 XP for beating the Season 2 Awards Drop 11. You also get this 99 Season Awards Weston Wilson. Left field primary, but he also plays first, second, third, short, and right field. 95 contact versus righties, kind of low, but max contact versus lefties, max power versus lefties, 111 power versus righties, 97 vision, 111 clutch, 75 fielding with 75 arm accuracy, 77 arm strength, 78 reaction, 85 speed for the 99 Weston Wilson. So his power is good versus righties. The contact, at least compared to versus lefties, not great, but he's maxed down in terms of contact and power versus lefties. He can maybe be a good pinch hitter or something like that, or a good platoon guy versus left-handed pitching. And that's going to be the Season 2 awards drop number 11. I think just like usual, we got some moments. It looks like 5 to get to 15 points in here. You got Tops Now, Parallel XP, Parallel XP with the Season Awards Sears, the Tops Now Series PXP, Tops Now Nito, Total Bases with Tops Now, Home Runs with Season Awards, some General Missions, Extra Base Hits, Hits, Saves, PXP with some Phillies. We'll take a look at the new Season Awards pack here in a second, but I thought maybe we had a 99 Tops Now in Drop 10. I could be misremembering, but let me see something. Yeah, we had Zach Nito, but maybe that was a little bit different. I don't know. Maybe it's because he had six RBIs. But uh, I was just kind of surprised to see a 99 tops now in drop 10, but then not a single 99 tops now in drop 11. That just threw me off a little bit. 
Now, we do have season awards cards in the pack shop, just like usual. There is a free season two awards pack, choice pack here in the shop. So make sure you're redeeming that. Show.com, maybe the show companion app, just on your console, and I'm gonna be the show. But we got the drop 11 season two awards final pack for the season awards of season two. Jake Rogers, catcher card for the Tigers, no secondaries for him. He's going to be a little bit better versus righties as a righty. 98 contact, 109 power versus righties, but then 82 contact, 92 power versus lefties. However, he's a pretty solid fielding catcher. 98 fielding, 93 reaction, 88 arm accuracy with 81 arm strength, 91 blocking, 55 speed for the 98 Jake Rogers. This is going to be in the base round, just like Luis Severino, starting pitcher tops now for the Mets. Four seam sinker, slurve, slider, and a cutter up in the top right. We see the velocity on each of his pitches. We see the control on each of his pitches, the break on each of his pitches. Looking nasty. Besides that sinker, wait, the break's looking kind of insane for this 98 Luis Severino. He is a pickoff artist for his only quirk. 98 hits per nine, 104 pitching clutch. And I think probably the last card in the base round, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be Kobe Mayo. I do love some Mayo. Now, I don't do this every time I have a hot dog. But I have had mayo on a hot dog before. And if you like mayonnaise, it's actually kind of fire. That's not my go-to, but I'm just saying don't knock it till you try it. Especially if you do like mayo. But Kobe Mayo, 91 contact versus righties, 98 versus lefties. 121 power though versus righties, 108 versus lefties. 82 vision and 99 clutch for him. 76 fielding, 75 reaction. But at third base, he's got 91 arm strength with 86 arm accuracy. 52 speed for Kobe Mayo. Then we do have a rare round. There's going to be two 99s in here. 99 Josh Hader to start it off. Max hits per nine, strikeouts per nine, 123 pitching clutch, 93 control, 95 velo, two seam slider, circle change for his pitch mix up in the top right. Got the velo on those, the control on those, max down on the two seamer, and then the pitch break kind of mid for this 99 Josh Hader who performs better when playing night games and the final card for the season awards here in season two drop 11 just season two in general we got masataka yoshida for the red sox dh primary but he also does play left center and right field but keep in mind he's got 59 fielding 50 reactions 71 arm strength 66 accuracy 41 speed he is a designated hitter primary card with max contact versus righties 114 contact versus lefties 103 power versus right 92 power versus left max vision max clutch though for this dh card he excels at hitting fastballs and performs better when no runners are on base and i think that's it for the pack shop today we have the free season awards pack you get to choose one through ten on the drops we have the season two awards drop 11 pack and program that came out today we're not quite done with the new content uh, we don't have a new chase card. Buck Leonard's been around a while. I think Jose Mendez, right? He's been in the game for at least a little bit. And I think that's everything in the pack shop, everything in the programs. But if we go to single player modes and go to conquest, we did get a new conquest map today. Complete the dog map to earn tons of hidden packs, stubs, and more. I'm curious to see what tons of hidden packs, stubs, and more means. I'm interested to see if this does seem worth it. I'm interested in the comment section. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I like both, but I'm for sure a dog person. No doubt about it. We got two, four, six, eight, nine strongholds on the dog map. I would have kind of thought seven would maybe make sense since like dog years are seven years, or at least that's what they say. For the normal rewards, again, the description says tons of hidden packs stubs and more so i don't think it's referring to the normal rewards but acquiring 100 million fans gets you a show pack wag the tail capture the angel stronghold gets you two stub millionaires you get 2500 xp and a headliners pack if you take over the white Sox, toronto blue jays and tampa bay ray strongholds it says give the dog some belly rubs for the description there pat the head and capture the red Sox stronghold for a ball and as a habit pack does anybody remember ball and out of control packs are they ever going to bring those back or was that kind of like a one and done type of thing are we are we done with those forever play some fetch and capture the san francisco giants tigers cardinals and met strongholds you get 2500 xp another headliner pack arf capture all strongholds to earn yourself a season two captain's choice pack interesting i don't think i have a single one of those cards Wait, have we been able to earn a season two captain's pack? I actually don't, like, I know they're in the shop right now, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know if I've ever earned one just by playing the game. 
up until this conquest map and then bark capture all territories to earn yourself a season 2 99 overall vault choice pack plus 10,000 xp so not bad I think some of those rewards seem pretty good. You get some extra XP. I'm really excited mainly for the 99 vault pack right here. Maybe that captain's pack. And I'm curious to see what the hidden rewards are. Maybe if you're watching this video and you know the hidden rewards, maybe let us know in that comment section. I'll probably try to get this done maybe sometime this weekend and maybe get a video for y'all showing you if I feel like it's worth it or not. Or just kind of going over what those hidden rewards are. And season three drops already August 29th. Wait. Is that not next Friday? Wait a second. It says five days remaining. Why did I think it was next Friday? Wait, it's dropping even sooner than I thought. Oh, man. I did not realize that. But anyways, season three starts on the 29th. We're going to have a roster update that day. Team Affinity starting at 95 overall. We're going to have two XP reward paths. Only two chapters of Team Affinity. The second chapter comes out when the second XP path comes out. First one has 299 bosses. The second XP path has three. I think the second one comes out about six weeks after the start of Season 3. But a new card series with those 95s in Team Affinity. Also new ranked BR and event to start as well as two new collections. So a lot's coming on the 29th. I should have a video going over everything as soon as I can after the content drop. But Season 2 is coming to a close. Season 3 is slowly coming to a start and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you have a great rest of your day a great weekend and hopefully i'll see you in tomorrow's daily upload